Hello, my name is Matthew Hess, and I am an education major at Wagner College. Today, we are going to learn the additive inverse property. But, before we learn the additive inverse property, we have to learn keywords of addition. So, these are the, the seven words that I look for to know that I have to use the addition property. I look for all together, plus, sum, total, add, in all, and combine. This is a plus symbol. This means all of these things. So the way I'm going to show you how to use the additive inverse property is to show you that regardless of what number you add first, you're still going to get the same answer, is by using die. So first I'm going to start off with two die. I'm going to start off with a red and a green die. And I'm going to show you that it doesn't matter which one you add first. The way I'm going to show you how to add it is by counting the dots on the dice. So let's take a roll. So I rolled a 6 and a 2. A 6 on the green die. And a 2 on the red die. So the way I would count is I would count the, the dots on the die and add them together. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, plus 1, 2. So 6 plus 2 gives me 8. So now I'm going to show you if I put, if, if I add the 2 in first and then the 6. Do you guys think we're going to get the same answer? Let's see. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Either way, you did six plus two equals eight, and you reversed it and did two plus six equals eight. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter which way you add the numbers, you're still going to get the same answer. I will show you another example with three dots. I got a five, I got a one, and I got a four. So I'm going to write 5 on the board, I'm going to write 5 in green because I rolled with a green dice. I rolled a 1 with a red dice and I rolled a 4 with a green dice. What do you think the answer is? I'm going to show you. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So the answer is 10. But now I'm going to show you if I mix the 1 and the 5 around, and I'm going to put the 4 in front of the 5. So to clarify, it's going to be 1 with the red dice, 
four with a green dice, and five with a green dice. I just want to show you that this is a completely different order than five plus one plus four. And I just want to show you that you're going to, you are still going to get the same answer. So one, one, two, three, four. So one plus four is five. Plus one, two, three, four, five. So five plus five is ten. You're still getting ten as your answer and you're switching around the numbers. This is called the additive inverse property. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.